and the pads go on on Monday. Brooke, just a fun practice to watch. The physicality was off the charts. Look, we've been watching, rewatching some of it. The one mm -hmm. highlight is what? I'm going to let you say it. Ramchek just pancaking Peyton Turner to the ground. And Peyton Turner has kind of been the highlight of camp so far. I guess the offensive tackles finally got tired of hearing about <laughs> it. And so once the pads came on, it really showed. And it showed for Trevor Penning, too, getting into it with Peyton Turner for again and with Taco Charlton. Getting a little chippy, but he said it's all in good competition. They're just competitors. Yeah, it was really fun to watch the competition. Yes, the one-on-ones, on Brooke was talking about was an inside running drill mm -hmm. where the O-line and the D-line D -line got the best of the O-line and some of them, yeah, but absolutely. Ramchek's pancake was the highlight. And I thought the one-on-one -on -one pass drills where cornerbacks yes. and wide receivers mm -hmm. got really physical was really fun. Not a great day for Chris Olave. He no, lost a few yeah. of those and a terrific day for Paulson Adebo who keeps stacking great days one after the other. I would say Elante Taylor too. I mean, he is making a case to fit in for playing time and God forbid Paulson Adebo has an injury or something happens there. I think Elante Taylor is going to be someone that they might even be able to plug in and play right away, just like Paulson experienced in his rookie year. He's someone that's able to go up and the pass breakup, I, I believe it was against Chris Olave, was. was really just impressive to see. It seems like he's already comfortable. Yeah, and, and if you haven't seen uh, Elante Taylor, he of course the same second round draft pick, physically mm -hmm. he's a lot like Paul Paulson Adebo. He is. he is a big cornerback, long, but no one's gotten behind him yet. Kurt Merritt keeps making he plays. Does. We saw we saw the kid from Destrahan keeps getting it done. Um, I saw Adam Troutman mm -hmm. make another nice play in 11 on 11, and, and he continues to make plays and get things done. We're, we're seeing guys stacking practices mm -hmm. back to back. There were still a lot of guys that were missing though. Tyron Matthews still not here. They're waiting to what Dennis Allen said, welcome him back with open arms. Taysom Hill also not here. He's still rehabbing from that rib injury. And then Michael Thomas put the pads on, but no physical contact. He's still kind of working back as well. And Marcus Davenport, I didn't see any eyes on him today. It didn't look like he was working outside, but he could have been inside. Like we've seen Pete mm -hmm. Werner just kind of rehabbing as well. And Pete Werner is very close to coming mm -hmm. back. Alvin Kamara did have a court date in uh, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He was here. Um, he was practicing as normal. We probably will not hear from Kamara until there is some resolution to that court right. case. We have not heard from Kamara yet, but he was out here today. Just a fun day yeah, with fans. Look, at 5, 6, and 10, we're going to roll out a ton of the video. It was all good. For Burke Kirchhoff, or I'm Doug Mouton. Fun day, first day of pads. Pads go back on tomorrow, too.